You know, it tells you, isn't that nice? Okay, so um, here's the worksheet. There's that. Okay, and then let's, everybody, we're going to need our Chromebooks for this. So go ahead and get your Chromebooks out because we're going to be, this is going to be heavy on Desmos. So Isaiah, yeah, you can go sit by the, where your Chromebook is plugged in. So Desmos, and we're going to go to the graphing calculator. So the first section on the worksheet has, it asks for the max and the min. And so if we're finding the max and the min, what are we looking for? If we're finding the max and the min, what are we looking for? Kind of like the vertex, yeah. So Brayden, if we're looking for the max and the min, you want to take your headphones out? Or are you, Brayden, are you watching your video? Yeah, are you watching the video? So let's plug it in. You can move your desk. There's one right, huh? Yeah, yeah. All right, so we need to find maximums and minimums. We need to find any mountains or valleys. So let's go ahead and take the equations and plug those in. Lexi, you want to come up and get your paper? Yeah. Um, you can show me later. All right. So the first equation, we have y equals x to the fifth minus 2x to the third. Is everybody good with plugging these in? Can we do that on Desmos? Okay, so everyone should be on Desmos. Are we there? Are we getting there? Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in just so I can ooh, see this better. All right, so once you get this graph, I want you to hold up your computer so I can see it. Perfect, perfect, perfect. We're doing number five. It's on Google Classroom. It's just right at the top. All right. Anyone else? I want to see it once you get it graphed. Perfect. Trevor, you got to get your Chromebook out. Perfect. Perfect. Mm, looks like you might have a typo somewhere. And then we've got our max and our min. We just have to type on them. So click on them with your mouse. So the max is the mountaintop. So for the max, I've got negative 1.095, 1 1.052. And for the min, I've got positive 1.095, negative 1.052. Uh -huh. So this is what I should have written down. And then from there, we can go on to the next one. So negative x to the fifth plus 3x to the third minus 1. So 
So it's still up here. So we got the max up here, the min down here. All right, I got a new graph, so I'm gonna zoom out just a smidge. Okay. You just gotta graph it on yours. Turn your Chromebook. You got a you got your charging cable? So we got another max and another min. We just gotta click on them and write them down. We got one of each. We got a max, we got a min, oops. So go ahead and keep working on that first section. You should get through it relatively quickly. If you didn't show me your notes already, I do need to see your notes. Um, I typed Y equals instead of F of X. And back. Thank you. Alex, you want to come show me your notes? Lexi, you have your notes? You want to come show me? Thank you. Thank you. No, because it's not a valley. So it only, yeah, it, it goes down, but it doesn't go down and come back up again. So it doesn't count as a min. It's only a max at the very, very top. So it's kind of like, it's like a mountain that like comes down and then like keeps going down. Yeah, mm -hmm. good question. Which one was that? Number nine? Okay. So if you guys look at this one, this is a graph of number nine. Does everyone see this one? This is a graph of number nine. And this graph, are we paying attention? Isaiah, are we paying attention? This is number nine. I can see this graph has a mountain top. Does this graph have a valley? 
you see a valley no valleys so if there's no valleys what does that mean no minimums okay so for minimums for number nine because this is number nine you're going to say none but for mountain tops there is one mountain top so the very top there's a mountain top up here the rest of it does not have a valley there's no other mountain top there's just the one just one mountain top at the very top So that's for number nine. All right, let me know when you guys are ready to do domain and range. <laughs> no no we're learning this is new yeah okay yes yeah so that one has a, two mountain tops and one valley it's just not a very like steep valley yeah Like it's the whole class here. No, the whole class here from one. Zoom in more. Otherwise, I don't think Jesus had anything to do with it. Thank you. I think so. I mean, that's what I had. I believe so.
Yeah, there is a mid there. You can see once you zoomed in that there is a valley there. So that is another minimum. What? What do you mean it didn't work? Okay, so it just means you have a typo somewhere. Okay, you guys ready to go over some domain and range? I'm gonna bring it up here. Trevor, you got your pass ready yet? Yeah, show me how you typed it. Oh yeah, no, that's okay. You just have to, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag this down so I can see it. There's no valley on this one. So it's only a mountain. The mountain is up here. So there's no valley. So that's just the mountain top. It would go down. There'd be a valley part. So it'd be like anything that dips, anything that dips low. So that goes high. So it's a mountain top. So it would be a valley if it was like that. Oh. Yeah. How you on your menu? You would just click on it. But do, you can click on that mountain top now, and it'll, the answer will be there. Oh, there's both. There's minimum and maximum. Nope, there's only a maximum. There's only a mountain top, so that's the maximum. So for minimum, you're going to say thing? the whole thing. So for the minimum, you're going to say none. Mm -hmm. All right, you guys ready to move on to domain and range? Yeah. Don't spill it. Mr. Graves will attack you. Oh, they're full. All right. Okay, we're going to go back to the worksheet. We're going to go to number 11. So at this point, you should have 5 through 10 done. 5 through 10 should be done. Did we see that to do 5 through 10, all we have to do is graph it and click on the answer? Okay, 5 through 10 does not take a lot of effort. We have to put a little bit more effort into 11 through 14, okay? So we're going to take number 11. Let's go ahead and graph it on Desmos. So I'm going back to my screen. I'm going to graph number 11. Y equals X to the fourth minus 3X squared plus 3x plus 3. So everybody should be graphing number uh, 11. This is what it looks like. And once you get number 11 graphed, after, you got to follow along with us. After you get number 11 graphed, we're going to draw a teeny tiny sketch on our papers. OK? So graph number 11. And then we're going to draw a teeny tiny sketch of number 11 on our papers that oh, my sketch is kind of okay. Looks like that. Mine's not perfect. We're going to draw a little sketch. So it looks something like that. And yeah, my drawing's not perfect. And does anyone remember, you might have to look at your notes. Which one is X? Which one is Y? One of these is X. One of these is Y. Do you guys remember which is which? 
domain is x domain is the x values range is the y values so the one that is the x values that one goes from left to right so we're going to go from the left side to the right side and if i go from left to right what values do i see yeah, I see arrows. That means I see negative infinity to positive infinity. Does that make sense? Lexi, you got to stop talking. Left to right, we have negative infinity to positive infinity. We've got everything. Does that make sense? Can you guys see that? Okay. So for domain, we're going to say negative infinity to positive infinity. We're all done. Now, if I look at the range, which part of the graph am I looking at? Not left to right any longer. What should I do? For the range, it's the y values. It's not left to right. What should I do instead? Up and down. So the top is pretty easy. What's the top going to be? Infinity. For the bottom, we're going to have to use Desmos. Okay, so the top is going to be infinity. For the bottom, we're going to have to go back to Desmos. So I'm going to go back to my calculator here, and I'm going to look at Desmos, and I'm going to click. Is this a maximum or a minimum? It's a minimum. It's a valley. I'm going to click the valley. And based on the valley, which number should I be using for the range? Because I have an x-coordinate and a y-coordinate. I'm, yeah, I'm going to be using the y coordinate, negative 3.243. So that valley is the very lowest part of the graph. And when I do the range, I always do the lowest part of the graph to the highest part of the graph. The highest part of the graph is the arrows going up. The lowest part of the graph is that minimum. And since it's a range, I only use the y coordinates. Okay, so let me go back. And I labeled the Y coordinate, okay? So what should I write for my range? I go from down to up. So what should I write first? Two, four, three, okay. And then infinity. Now infinity always gets a parenthesis. And the negative 3.243, could I click on it? Was that a number I could click on? Yes. So if it's a number I could click on, I get a bracket. All right, let's try the next one. Let's try number 13, actually. So go ahead and graph number 13. Negative x to the fifth plus 4x to the third minus 4x minus 2. Okay, there's a lot of squiggles in the middle. Okay, so I'm going to draw a sketch of this on my paper. Go down, up, down, up, down. Okay, so we have... We have the left side of our graph. We have the right side of our graph. The left side of the graph, the right side of the graph. What do we notice about the left side? What do we notice about the right side? Yeah, but we don't think about up and down. We think about left and right. So left side, right side, what are both of those? What are they pictures of? Left side, right side, they're arrows. So if the left side is an arrow and the right side is an arrow, what does that mean? They go to infinity. Okay, so what's my answer for a domain if my left and my right both go to infinity? What should I write? Negative infinity to positive infinity. 
okay? And then for my range, what's the lowest part of my graph? The very lowest. I do the lowest part to the highest part. What's, is there, is there a minimum that's the very lowest or is there an arrow that's the very lowest? An arrow. So this is the very lowest. So, so that's an infinity, that's a negative infinity, okay is the very highest a mountaintop is it a maximum or is it an arrow it's an arrow what number is an arrow going up infinity so we have an arrow going down an arrow going up so what's our range down to up what's our range yeah, negative infinity to positive infinity. Okay, go ahead and try the next two. See if you can do the next two. So you're gonna need to draw little pictures so you can write on them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so what I would do is check both of them and see if the Y values are different. And what you can do is you can zoom in more, make the picture bigger, because you might see that one dips lower than the other, or you might see that they dip down the same amount, the same amount. So then it shouldn't matter. Your Y values should be the same. Let's see. Oh, I think you're looking at your X values. Thank you. 
I mean, if you grab them yeah. and then click on them, there's no way to get them wrong. You should be good. Okay. Um, let me pull up. No, you're good. So there were two minimums. Yeah. So um, do you need to see how there were two minimums? Yeah. Okay. So for number eight. Oh, two maximums. I labeled I labeled number eight backwards in my answer key. So this should say min up here and it should say max down here. So two maximums, one minimum looks like. Um, so there's two, cause you can see two mountaintops. One's just like a shorter mountaintop than the other one. So two maximums, these are both maximums. And then the minimums right down here. So you can have more than one mountaintop. You can have more than one mountain. Uh-huh, yep. Huh? Yeah, so so with these with polynomial functions, they can go up and down multiple times. And so you just say how many little mountaintops they have and how many little valleys they have, and there can be more than one. And for the other ones, if you look at them closely, you'll see that even if they went, even if they had weird curves, they only had like maybe one specific mountaintop. So like one of the ones we looked at that was kind of weird was number nine. Uh, I'll show you what number nine looks like. Uh, it has one mountaintop and then it seems like maybe it has something else, but it doesn't really. So here's what number nine looks like where it has a mountaintop and it feels like maybe it could have something else, but then technically it doesn't. So it only has one mountaintop. It has no valleys. It doesn't have any other mountaintop. So number nine is kind of weird because it only has one answer. Yeah. So number six, so number six looks like maybe it could have something in the middle, 
but it doesn't. So that's how we only have one minimum and one maximum is because the middle doesn't give us anything. It's kind of like you have a valley and then you walk up a hill and then the hill levels out and then you keep walking up a hill and then you get up to the mountain. That's kind of what it's like. Whereas with number eight, number eight was kind of like walking on a mountain, walking down to a valley, walking to another mountain. So let me show you number eight again. Plus two X squared plus X minus three. So if we look at number, number six compared to number eight, so number six went from a mountain to a valley to a mountain. Number six was valley to a flat space to a mountain. See how they're a little different? Yeah. So that's why we can have some answers where there's only one of each, or there could just be one, like what we had in number nine. There could just be one mountaintop. Yeah. Okay. So next we're going to look at uh, number 15. So let's go ahead and type number 15 in. And with these ones also, we're going to draw a little sketch and we're going to label our little sketch. Number 15. And does anyone remember with um, increasing and decreasing, do we use X's or do we use Y's? X's or Y's, do you need to look back at your notes? We do X's only because the word increasing and decreasing, that is describing the Y's. You're saying if the graph is going up or down. So up or down describes the Y's. So we're saying where that's happening, that's why we're using X's. Okay, so here's the graph. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna draw a sketch of the graph. And we have a lot of labels that we're gonna do on the sketch. Um, this is number 15. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just, at this point, I'm drawing a sketch of the graph. Oh, that's not it. I lost. Hold on, I have to close some of the stuff I lost. I'm getting out of these things. Hold on, let me pause this. Okay. So I just have my little sketch drawn right now. And I'm gonna label stuff in there. So I'm starting my stick figure right here. And if my stick figure starts walking, is he walking uphill or downhill? Yeah, he's going downhill. And then he gets to this, what is this called? What is this called? A valley, so it's a minimum. He gets to the minimum and then what happens? He goes back up, he's walking uphill, okay? And then he gets up here, what's this called? A mountaintop, he gets to the mountaintop and then what is he doing? Walks downhill again. Okay, so we have, we have increasing and we have decreasing. We know that these are both X values. So what is the X value of a left arrow? Left arrow. Negative infinity, okay. X value for a right arrow. Infinity. Oh, I wrote a negative, but I meant positive, okay. Infinity, okay. Now let's go back to Desmos because we have to look for the X values for the valley and for the mountaintop. So the valley is our minimum. What's the X value of our minimum? Zero, okay. What is the X value of our mountaintop? Two, okay. So now let's go back to our picture, okay? So for decreasing, we're gonna have two answers. And for increasing, we're gonna have one answer, 
okay? So the word decreasing is in between what numbers? You see it in between which numbers? Negative infinity and zero, okay? So infinity always gets a parenthesis. Now at zero, when the stick figure is standing right here, is he actively walking downhill? No. Okay, so we're going to put a parenthesis. And then we have decreasing again over here, and that's in between what two numbers? Two and positive infinity. Infinity always gets a parenthesis. When he's standing right here, is he actively walking downhill? No, so that's going to get a parenthesis. And then does anyone remember from the homework video what we put in between if we have more than one answer? A U. We put a U in between. It's okay if you don't put the U. I won't get upset, but I just want you guys to not be confused if there is one there. Anyone remember what the U stands for? Union. It stands for union. It means you have two answers and they both have to be there for it to be true. For your answer to be right, they both have to be there. Okay, the word increasing is in between what two numbers? Zero and two, okay? If the stick figure is standing right here, is he actively walking uphill? No, okay, so we got parentheses. If the stick figure is standing right here, is he actively walking uphill? No, okay. All right, we ready for the next one? Yes, okay. So go ahead and graph. Um, let's do one with an even exponent. So let's do number 17. So let's go ahead and graph it on Desmos and let's get as many labels as we can. So graph it, draw a sketch and get as many labels as you can. So draw the curve, draw your stick figure, label your positive infinity and your negative infinity. See where your stick figure is going up, see where your stick figure is going down.
Okay. So we have the stick figure starting right here. What is the stick figure doing first? Downhill. And then the stick figure gets down here. What is this called? Valley. And then what does he do? He goes uphill. And then the valley uh, or the stick figure goes uphill and he goes up here, which is called what? Mountaintop. And what's a mountaintop actually called? What's the math term? A maximum, okay. He gets to the maximum and then what does he do? Goes back down. And what's this called? Valley. And then what does he do? He goes back up again. Okay, so how many answers are we gonna have for increasing? Two. How many answers are we gonna have for decreasing? Two. Uh, do we use the X values or the Y values? The X values. Okay. So what is the X value of a left arrow? Negative infinity. What is the X value of a right arrow? Infinity. Okay. So now we have the minimums and we have the maximum. So the X value of the first minimum is what? What's the X value of the first minimum? And that's the Y value, but which one are we using, X or Y? Lexus? All right, what's the X value of the maximum? Zero. And then what's the X value of the other minimum? Mm -hmm. Zero point zero point nine zero six. All right. Okay. So our first decreasing answer is what? What's the first decreasing answer? Negative infinity to Okay. Um is he actively walking downhill when he's at the valley? No. Okay, parenthesis. What's the other decreasing answer? Zero to point nine zero six. Okay. Is he actively walking downhill at the top of the mountain? Is he actively walking downhill at the bottom of the valley? No. So we got zero point nine zero six. They both get commas. What do we put in the middle? A little u. Okay. Uh, what do we put for the first increasing answer? Okay. Is he actively walking uphill at the bottom of the valley? Is he actively walking uphill at the top of the mountain? No. Okay. Um, and then what's the other increasing answer? Okay. 0 0.906 to infinity. And then what do we put in between? Little u. Okay. So at this point, you should have the first section completely done because most everybody got five through 10 done before we moved on. So you might be taking home 12, 14, 16, 18. And then we're going to finish the notes tonight. So if you look on Google Classroom, we're going to finish the notes on intercepts, continuity, and end behavior. Okay? We'll be finishing the notes. Now, remember, one thing that we seem to have forgotten is that we need to submit a picture of the notes on Google Classroom. Because when you submit them in class, you get a point taken off. You got to submit them on Google Classroom. Okay? We're going to do those tomorrow.
So don't don't put an X through them or anything because we will do them. Show you what? Number 17? Yes. Let me zoom in. Yes. So tonight we are finishing five through 18. Five through 18 completely done. Mm -hmm. You can just bring them tomorrow. That's fine. That's fine. You're good. I'm fine with that. Did you get the comment that I wrote you back? You left me a comment last night and then I wrote you right back. 